In this video, I'd like to give you a tour of the Market Samurai SEO competition module, which gives you an easy but incredibly powerful way to assess the strength of the competition in the micro niches that you're currently exploring. But before we get to Market Samurai, I'd like to take a moment to give you some background information on how Google decides which websites should appear on the front page of its results for each search phrase. A good way to visualise the process of page ranking is to imagine that Google sends out an automated robot called a Googlebot to review your website. When the Googlebot visits your site, it reviews two main things to decide how relevant your website will be to Google's users. The first thing the Googlebot looks at is the actual content of your pages. By reviewing the titles, descriptions, headings, and some other factors on your pages, the Googlebot can accurately determine what your site is about. These factors are called the on-page factors and can play a big part in determining the rank of your website. But the Googlebot doesn't stop there. In addition to assessing the on-page factors, the Googlebot also examines the number and type of other websites that link to your web page. The idea behind this is that if a lot of high quality websites are linking to yours, then you must be delivering valuable content. Factors such as the number of incoming links to your page and the age of your domain are known as off-page factors. So in summary, the Googlebot uses a combination of on-page factors and off-page factors to determine the value of your website which in turn determines where it will appear in the Google rankings for various keyword phrases. OK, let's now go and check out the SEO competition module in Market Samurai to see what this means for you and your online business. I'm going to continue to use my example of the how to play saxophone micro niche. To assess the SEO competition module, all I have to do is go across here to the left and click on the SEO competition tab. What this module allows you to do is to conduct a real-time SEO analysis of the top websites that are currently competing for the microniche keyword that you're interested in. The great thing about this is that you can assess the quality of your competition before you try and build a website. So instead of wasting time and effort trying to compete in niches that are extremely competitive, Market Samurai allows you to explore and identify niches that have a much lower level of competition and are therefore much more accessible to you and your new online business. At the top of the screen, you'll see a list of the off-page and the on-page factors that Market Samurai allows you to investigate. And to begin my SEO analysis for the how to play saxophone keyword, all I have to do is come down here and click the Generate Results button. Market Samurai then goes out and researches my keyword and conducts a real-time SEO analysis in order to populate this SEO matrix. Generally speaking, Market Samurai uses a colour code to illustrate how well optimised each of these factors are for the top websites. The green cells indicate that you have a good opportunity to compete in this niche. Orange cells indicate that it might be challenging, and red cells indicate a high level of competition. So if your SEO matrix is very green, then you've probably found an accessible micro niche. Whereas if most of the cells of your SEO matrix are red, then you're probably looking at a very competitive niche. Don't be too concerned if this all looks a little complicated at first. We're going to go through each of the columns one at a time. The first column shows the URL of the top 10 ranked websites for my search term, How to Play Saxophone. If I wanted to visit any of these sites, all I have to do is click on the link and Market Samurai opens the website in a new window. The next column is DA, which stands for Domain Age. 
Google tends to give some ranking preference to websites that have been online for a number of years. Now, if new or young websites are ranking in the top 10 of Google, it can be an indication that the niche is more accessible. The PR column contains PageRank values. PageRank is Google's estimate of the authority of a domain. The higher the PageRank, the more authority the site has. So if you see lots of red cells in the PR column, it means that you'll be trying to compete against a large number of high authority websites. Alternatively, if sites with low or zero page rank are ranking in the top 10, it means that the niche may be more accessible. The BLP column shows the number of backlinks to the specific page listed in the Google rankings. If there are no or only a few backlinks to pages that are ranking well, it again means that you have a good chance to compete in this micro niche. The next column is the BLD column, or the backlinks to domain values. This shows the total number of links pointing not just to a specific page, but to the entire domain. If the BLP is low, but the BLD is high, then the site is probably ranking because of the authority of the overall domain rather than any specific page. The BLEG column indicates the number of backlinks that are coming from .edu or .gov domains because Google has decided that links from .edu and .gov websites have a higher authority than links coming from other domains. The next column indicates whether or not each of the sites is listed in the DMOZ directory which is one of the largest human-reviewed directories of the internet. And the YAH column indicates whether or not each site is listed in the Yahoo directory, which is now a paid directory which currently costs about $300 a year. So these first seven columns refer to off-page factors, and together they give you a good indication of the strength of the link network that exists for each of the websites currently competing in your micro-niche. They also give you a good idea of the kind of link network that you're going to have to develop in order to achieve a front page Google listing. Now the last five columns on the SEO matrix relate to on-page SEO factors. The first column, title, indicates whether or not the keyword you're investigating appears in the title tag of each of the ranking pages. Similarly, the URL column indicates whether the keyword appears in the URL of the listed web page. The next column is description, and it shows whether or not the keyword is present in the description tag of the web pages. The head column indicates whether the keyword appears within header tags such as h1, h2 or h3 tags. And finally, the CA column indicates the number of days it's been since the Googlebot re-indexed the website. Now I know that that's a lot to take in if you're brand new to SEO, so in the next video we'll take a step back and take a look at what all of this data actually means and how you should go about using it.